We live in a world where every single power bank claims to be the smallest, the fastest, and the most advanced. But with so many options available, how do you really know? So today, I want to find out which power bank is actually the best in 2025. Not by marketing claims, I want to find out the hard scientific data. To do that, I built a scoring system across 20 points of data with one goal in mind. Cutting through the noise to find not just which power bank wins on paper, but which one might actually be their best fit for you. It's important to note that some of these power banks for this test were provided by the companies. The INIU B63 was one that I bought personally. This video is not sponsored and no companies had advanced access to the results. All data is derived from a month of thorough and repeated testing, ensuring accuracy and minimizing inconsistencies. My goal as always is to offer an unbiased perspective based on real data, helping you identify the ideal power bank for your individual needs. So for this test, every ranking needs a foundation, so I broke my system into what I call four different pillars. They add up to 100 points. Starting things off is the performance. Performance is going to equal 50 points. The build and portability is 20 points. Features and convenience, 15 points. And safety and compliance, 15 points. Performance leads the way, half the total score, because at the end of the day, a power bank's job is to deliver power. But the other pillars matter too, and you'll see why as we go along. For my test, I want to test as many power banks as possible. Let's start off with the biggest category, the performance. I looked at three numbers here that spec sheets rarely explain well. Efficiency. How much of an advertised capacity do you actually get? every single battery loses energy to heat and conversion. To keep standards high, I cut anything below 70% efficiency. Fail that and it's an automatic zero. The differences here are absolutely staggering. In first place for power efficiency is the INIU B63. This is rated at 92.5 watt hours with an efficiency rating of 89.4%. In second place is the Aohi Starship 240 watts. This is 88.4% efficient. I think it's really nice to have a high capacity battery like this, but something that's also really efficient too. And in third place is the INIU P64E1 with 83.2% efficiency. Still not a bad result. Shockingly enough, this is actually roughly where most power banks sit was around the 80% mark. The worst in terms of efficiency is the Beisus power supply with 46.6% efficiency. I have had this one for a little while, but honestly I haven't really used it much, so I'm kind of surprised to see the efficiencies just so low. This is actually the power bank that I brought with me to Japan last year. If I had known that it was only 46% efficient, I probably would have brought something else. Honestly, the differences are pretty staggering an 89% efficiency rating compared to 46 isn't a small gap. For the same advertised capacity, that's the difference between three full phone charges versus barely one and a half. Next up is the max power output, and that's where things get interesting. Can I use it to charge something like a phone, or can it output enough power to sustain a laptop? I rewarded any of these power banks that could hit at least 100 watts. The Aohi power banks in particular kind of shone ahead here because they're large capacity battery banks. They can output large amounts of wattage, supplying powerful devices. The Aohi Starship 240 watt can output 140 watts with one USB-C port, which is the same as the old Starship with 140 watts out of those as well. The P64E1 can also do 140 watts. There's a lot of power banks that can actually hit that 100 watt mark now. Some of these also kind of cap out around the 100 watt mark, like the Shar Geek 140 watts. That's where I find some of these markings a little misleading. 
you see 140 watts and you assume it's going to do 140 watts output but if you look very closely this one can only do 100 watts it seems like some of these combine their wattages through their ports but i was looking at the single output the max output with one usb-c port and finally, recharge speed. No one wants to wait half a day for their battery backup to refill. I measured the recharge rate in watt hours per hour. The fastest recharged in just under an hour and a half, while the slowest and the smallest on the list took just over two hours to charge. However, power isn't too useful if it's too bulky to carry. So next, I looked at the energy density both the gravimetric density, which is the power per gram, and the volumetric density, which is the power per cubic centimeter. For this chart though, I normalized it to watt hours per kilogram, so it's a little easier to see. Surprisingly enough, the smallest one on our list, the INIU P50E1, scored at the top of the list here. This is an absolutely dense little battery. The P63E1 also scored brilliantly here, packing serious watt hours into a slim, travel friendly form factor. This one actually punches well above its weight. This is probably the battery bank I wish I brought with me to Japan last year in October. Build quality also really matters. The Beisus, while weak in efficiency, definitely earned credit for its sturdy aluminum casing that improves the heat dissipation and the durability. Features can also make or break the usability. Pass through charging, like on the Aohi, or PPS support for faster phone charging. All scored points. And then there's safety, often overlooked, but critical, especially on a battery. These markings all mean something. The UL mark, like the one on the base use, isn't marketing fluff. It means independent lab testing for short circuit resistance, heat tolerance, and catastrophic failure prevention. So before we crown a winner, let's pause here. Why does efficiency matter so much? Imagine two 25,000 milliamp hour power banks. On the box, they look exactly the same. But if one is rated at 45% efficient and the other is at 89% efficient, the real world difference is night and day. It's not just engineering trivia, it's wasted heat, wasted charging cycles, and ultimately wasted money. This is why I'm so impressed with the INIU BIP63 at 89% efficient. This is effectively approaching the theoretical best case territory for consumer lithium ion power banks. Did I mention that this power bank is about a year old and it's still holding up extremely well? So final scores all normalized out for just the overall score weights that we've set. Which one tops the list? The Aohi Future Starship 240 watts gets a score from me at 82.36%. The P63E1 comes in second place with 78.23%. Third place is the older Aohi Starship with 77.4%. But here's the truth, there's no single best power bank, it all depends on you. So I rescored all of the weightings across three different personas. The power user, the gamer, the video editor, someone who needs raw output. Performance dominates, and here the clear winner is the Aohi Future Starship 240 watts. For the power user, the INIU P63E1 came in second place, and in third place is the Aohi Starship, the original one, at 76.06%. And the digital nomad, the frequent flyer, the remote worker, Portability and airline rules matter. Remember, anything over 100 watt hours is banned from carry on luggage, which instantly disqualifies the two Starship power banks. The interesting thing is, the future Starship model says it's actually under 100 watt hours, but I measured it and it goes slightly over, which kind of left the INIU P63E1 as the smart travel safe choice. This ranked at the top of the list by a pretty wide margin at 81.01% score for the Digital Nomad category. 
the BI B63 scored a little further behind the pack at 67.78% in this category, and the P64E1 was pretty close at 67.14%. These are good battery banks, but they're a little bit bigger than the P63E1. And the category that matters for me, the everyday carry specialist. Something small, something light, something always there when you need it. Something with good energy density. And once more, the P63E1 rises to the top with a whopping 82.1%. In second place is the Future Starship 240 watts at 70.56%. And in third place at 69.89% is the INIU BIB63. One of the big takeaways from this project is just how misleading battery marketing can be. MAH numbers don't tell you the full story and neither does the headline wattage. As we talked about, the right answer depends on who you are and not what the spreadsheet says. So here's my final takeaway. If you need maximum performance, the Aohi Starship 140 watt is unmatched. If you need efficient and compact design, the Aohi Future Starship 240 watts or the P63E1 is a stellar deal. If you need something practical, travel friendly and balanced, the INIU P63E1 is still my top recommendation. But you know at the end of the day, I wanted this just to be more than a list of my top picks. My goal here was to give you a clear, data-backed framework to make your own decision. All the raw data and all the links to the models are in the description if you want to pick any of these up. Which persona fits you the best? Are you the power user? The digital nomad? Or the everyday carry specialist? This one was a lot of work you guys. Make sure to subscribe to support the channel. And if you want to see any power banks featured, make sure to let me know down below. I can always add more to the list. Remember power banks can be a little expensive, so I might not be adding too many to the list very often. As always, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.